One of the first things I purchased when we were moving into the RV was an Instapot. And I used it that first year that we were in here. I used it all the time for cooking. I find that things like this save a lot of time. Now I know that slow cookers are kind of nice too because you can put everything in it, let it cook throughout the day. And the nice thing about an Instapot is that you can use it as a slow cooker as well. But so many times, especially because I'm still doing some work from home, I find myself waiting till kind of sort of the last minute to get dinner going. And it really depends on how long I work that day. And then what happened was the fryers came out and we wanted to have an air fryer. However, because our kitchen is so small, like yours in an RV, we really debated about what, what should we do? Buy a whole nother fryer, have another appliance to try to store. And instead what we did is we gifted our Instapot to someone who was in need of one. And then we bought this fryer Instapot combination. Yes, I'm aware that Instapots can be quite expensive depending on which one you actually buy. This um, Instapot fryer combination is $150, $149 on Amazon, but right now it's on sale for $129, and that is a great buy. So if you're in the market for one, take a look. I've got the links below. My absolute favorite find on Amazon is this end table. Because of the design of our living room, we have a space where we have no outlets, no place to put, you know, coffee, knickknacks, things like that. Those little cup holders in the chairs just really don't work for me. And this end table fits perfectly beside our couch. And there's plenty of walkway between my desk and the end table. And it also has a unique feature. You open the top, which is hinged, and there are outlets, electrical outlets, and USB connection outlets in there as well. There's plenty of storage area in there, and actually it sits right behind my desk, so I'm able to use that space underneath for some of my work paraphernalia as well. So this is a very versatile piece of equipment. It's not real heavy, so if you're mobile, it doesn't really add a lot of weight. And if you're stationary and you need a place, now some of you that are in um, toy haulers that you've turned into like an extra living room or a bedroom, this would be great in there. When I purchased it, it was around 86 to $90. And now Amazon is selling it for $136. So the price keeps going up. However, I did notice on Amazon this morning that it is on sale for $93. That's a great price. So if you need something like this, it's on sale. Another favorite find is my clock that projects onto my wall. And I literally use this every single night and sometimes several times during the night. I love being able to wake up, just glance up at the wall and see what time it is. I don't know, there's something about seeing the time. If it's two o'clock in the morning, then I know I just need to turn over and go back to sleep. And if it's five o'clock in the morning, well, I know I'm getting up in a couple minutes. So having something like this just really is a very convenient kind of item. Now I got mine a few years ago and they don't make it anymore, but this is one very similar. And I think the reason they don't make mine anymore is because now they have a connection to your phone on it. I don't know, they just keep improving these things. These can be uh, set on a end table if you have it, but I find the best way to deal with this is to put some command strips or Velcro strips on the back of it and then put it above your bed and it projects right straight across the wall. Some of these have more bells and whistles than others, but if you take the link below, you can kind of take a look at this one and there are a huge variety on Amazon. This one happens to be like $19.99. It's on sale. They can be, you know, a lot higher than that. I haven't found any uh, much lower than that cost, however. I've always been a person who likes green plants in their home. You know, research tells us that plants give us nice oxygen and they can take out the harmful 
chemicals and different things that are in our homes. And I do believe, although I haven't done the research, that there's some, you know, funky smells that sometimes happen in an RV, especially a new one. And having some green plants allows that air to be recycled somewhat. Now I know if you're mobile, that's very difficult to do. And you don't have a lot of space, especially on the floors or on shelves, to put a lot of green plants. But if you can have at least one or two, that's a good idea. So I have one above my desk. Actually, I have two beside my desk. One that's hanging and one's on top of the credenza. And then I have some fake ones because I also just think that illusion of plants and greenery gives you a feeling of comfort, especially making it more of a home. And if you have a small space like this one, then these little fake plants work really well. You can take them down again if you're mobile. You can put them in a hanging kind of macrame like this one. Um, now, if they're light enough, you can even secure them with a command hook. So having some greenery around you makes you actually feel better. This one I got from Ikea, and I noticed that they do have it on Amazon. It's the one thing that's not on sale right now. You can actually get it less expensive at Ikea. However, you know, kind of factor in the drive time, if, especially if there's not an Ikea next to you, and the convenience of just adding it to an Amazon order, especially if you're a Prime member. Anyway, I particularly like this one and it looks good. I bought two of them because I'm actually gonna put one outside. Because we have a lot of deer around here, I have to be very strategic about where I put plants. So in my back area where there are, the deer can reach it, I do put fake plants. Still looks nice, but the deer don't eat them. So number five's coming up, but hey, don't go away because I have a bonus for you right after this recommendation. And my fifth and final favorite find from Amazon is the least expensive. Coming in at $5.99 are these bed sheet holders. They're just straps with little clamps on each side. And by putting these kitty corner under our mattress, they hold our sheets on. You can actually put this for the top sheet as well as for the bottom sheet. And you guys know how difficult it is to make those RV beds, especially maybe if you don't have end tables on each side of your, or that space on each side of your bed, and you have one side that's actually against the wall or whatever. You've probably seen that funny meme with Kermit the Frog with the um, oxygen mask on after he had made the, an RV bed. It's just so true. It just is annoying as heck to try to change the sheets on your RV bed and then to get in it that night and have them pop off. And well, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So these little things um, are amazing. They work well. We've used them for several years. I've had two little versions and this is the one I like the best. And here's a bonus for number six. I showed you this picture of the plant, but you see right next to it is a wise camera. And that is something we purchased fairly early on in our living in the RV, and we are so glad we did. Now we have several of these. Uh, this is the only one we have inside, but we have one outside on our porch underneath that topper that allows us to see and hear anybody that comes to our door or on our porch and when we get into Amazon package. We also have one on the deck behind Mr. Bear that shows us what might be like a deer or a bear alongside our RV. And in the back, we also have a camera that shows our patio area. And again, we can check and see what kind of animals might be out there. And we have one in the tree, and this one actually shows behind our RV. So we have a nice view almost completely around the RV. And then finally, we have one out by our um, cars, which is underneath the tongue of the RV. Particularly, I know that you some of these, like on the porch and the one right here under the RV, anybody could pick these up and, you know, take off with them and I get that but really we have them secured there so that we can see if there's any animals out and, you know and most of the time if it's deer or something like that we're not so worried but if there's a bear we want to make sure the bear leaves before we go outside so these cameras really do help 
As a final picture, here is something we captured with our WISE camera and to show how grateful we are that we have those and we do live in an RV community. We hope you enjoyed today's video and that you got a couple good ideas. If you liked it, would you please do us the favor of liking and subscribing? Thanks. Until next time, bye-bye.